Welcome to WB Mason postgame extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Friday night, the Mets began an 11 game road trip in Phoenix, and they were beaten by the Diamondbacks 5 to 4 on a walk off home run by Paul Goldschmidt in the bottom of the ninth inning. It started with Jeremy Hefner on the mound, and Hefner got hit awfully hard early in the game, survived the first four innings before it caught up with him. Well, they got two, the Diamondbacks, that is, got two in the fifth, and then in the sixth inning, they got to him. They hit some rockets. I just try to battle them, you know what I mean, and just hopefully I find it, you know what I mean, hopefully I uh, keep trying to make pitches, and hopefully I find it, and um, I didn't, so I didn't do it. wasn't executing very well at all. Especially in the uh, fifth inning and even in, in start of sixth inning, you know, he had, if you look back, he, he had two strikes on a lot of hitters. Couldn't put anybody away, and um, he'd get two strikes on him and leave something in the middle of the plate, and, you know, they'd, they'd certainly get a good swing at it, so... Uh, up until the fifth, I thought he was thought he was moving the ball around all right. But you know, you, again, it's it's this is all this game, especially with with Jeremy. It's all about location. That's the way it's been forever in baseball. You know, you execute, you get guys out. You don't execute, you get lit up. So um, I got lit up. The bullpen came in and saved him and stopped the bleeding in that inning. Uh, but the Mets were a team tonight that they bounced back. They came back and tied the ball game with two runs in the eighth. And then the uh, Josh Satin was very much a big part of that, and he made a great play in the field that prevented two runs from scoring on a line drive off the bat of Will Nieves right down the, the first base line. But Paul Goldschmidt, home run number 27 off Atchison, and that, that put the nail in the coffin. Working like anybody else, try to be aggressive, you know, get in there and get ahead. And I was able to do that and then just left the cutter up, and, you know, he's a good hitter. and. Obviously has good power to all fields, especially there. And you know, he made me pay for a bad pitch. Hung the slider. I'm sure he, you know, certainly didn't want to. But uh, uh, yeah, he's the one guy who's going to beat you. But you know, you guys, and again, you got to make pitches, and we didn't make them. Team battles all game, all game long. You know, and they get back in there, and we and we tie it up. You know, obviously, I want to try to get out there and get a quick inning in, and get us back in there so we can swing the bats and you know try to get it ahead. You know, like I said it didn't work tonight, but you know, go get them tomorrow. That bullpen had gone three and a third scoreless innings before that home run. Justin Turner had three RBIs tonight. The Mets twice came from behind in this game. JT's a good baseball player on this team. He's been a valuable guy off, off the bench, plays anywhere. Um, and you always feel good when he's up to the plate because you know you're going to get a good at bat from him. So I'm not surprised he got some RBIs. Not the way the Mets wanted to start the road trip. Well, this is a big, important road trip here. They talked earlier in the game about finishing in second place. I think in terms of finishing a 500 or better, that to me is a goal that you want to have. And uh, this is a tough trip. they got to go to L.A. from here, and then they got to go to San Diego 4, then go up to Minnesota and make that game up. So uh, the road trip didn't get off to a good start. So the Mets are now nine games under 500. They'll try and get even in the series on Saturday with Zach Wheeler on the mound. Our coverage begins with Cadillac first pitch on Saturday night at 7 o'clock on SNY. That'll do it for W.B. Mason Postgame Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.